first and foremost, I want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If it wasn't for him, this wouldn't be possible. Low nose box. Hit the like button. Share the video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Shout out to Punch Run Boxing, who had an interview last night with Ryan Garcia's father. And it was stated that Ryan Garcia is in contact with Devin Haney's team for a potential fight. Basically, they're already negotiating. And you know how I feel about the 140-pound weight class. The junior welterweight division right now is the glamour division in boxing. Usually it's 147. For a brief period of time, it was 135. But since Tia Fimo Lopez, Devin Haney, and Ryan Garcia have moved up to 140 pounds, 140 is the glamour division in boxing. You got guys like the other, like the other two guys I mentioned, the three guys I mentioned, excuse me. Then you got Subaru Matias up there. You got Jose Ramirez. You got Gary Antoine Russell. You got Richards the Hitchensons. You got um, Sandor Martin. I mean, 140 is lit right now. And Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney is a good fight. That's a very interesting fight. It's also a barometer fight. Because in boxing, whenever you want to build up a big, big fight, it's very key to have a barometer fight, a common opponent with your rival, with your nemesis, like Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather did. They had they had rivals, they, they were a rival, and they had common opponents. Oscar De La Hoya and Felix Trinidad had common opponents, right? So now Devin Haney and Javante Davis already have one common opponent in Eurokis Gamboa. And now Ryan Garcia would be another common opponent. And what makes this fight intriguing is the fact that even though Ryan Garcia is not really looked at by the boxing media as a fighter on the level of a Devin Haney, me included, but Ryan Garcia knows Devin Haney very well. They have a history. They fought six times in the amateurs, and they went three and three in the amateurs. So this is a very interesting fight. I'm intrigued to see how it's going to turn out. Um, what can Devin Haney actually do? to beat Ryan Garcia in more impressive fashion than Javante Davis did. Javante Davis knocked him out in the seventh round, but he did get touched up in round five. Ryan Garcia was starting to do some good work, landing some good right hands. So if Devin Haney were to like literally outbox him, outclass him, and probably not get hit hardly at all, then it would definitely probably be, not definitely, but it would be more impressive than Javante Davis. But then again, maybe not, because up to that fifth round, Javante Davis was dominating Ryan Garcia. He got touched up in the fifth, and then Tang Davis took him out in the seventh round. But um, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, that's an interesting fight. Sign me up. It'll probably go down maybe in May. It would make more sense for that fight to go down sometime in May, which is a Mexican holiday, and Ryan Garcia is a Mexican-American. 2024 is looking like it's going to be a very good year for boxing. So with that being said, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to my channel, Low Nose Boxing, because Low Nose Boxing, I'm out.